Yeah, my wonderful people, viewers and subscribers all over the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Happy New Day and happy Thursday. Um, today happens to be the end of October. Today is a 31st, according to my uh, calendar here. I don't know about your own calendar, but today is 31st of October 2024. We have said bye bye to this month too. And we are heading to the new month of uh, November. Then from there, we are entering December, the final uh, month of the year, and also the sacrosanct the, uh, month for the declaration of, uh, or rather, the redeclaration re of the independent state of Biafra. Anyway, I don't have much to say. I just want you people to listen to this message. The headline is uh, Nigerian media declare war on Simon Ekpa as Igbo's cause for his head. Well, I don't know the content of this message, but I know you are, we are going to listen to it together. So, if you have any observation on this message, please drop it at the comment section. I myself will do the same. So, let us go straight as we listen to my brother from another mother, Marzi Christian of News Post TV, where we get some of the Ubonga news that I'm bringing to my people on daily basis. So, please do me a favor, like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to this channel. For more interesting videos coming your way, my name is Sidi Man Amandia Neze, reporting from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. Oya, let us go there. There's no time to waste. The Yoruba say that they are Odudua. They are Odudua. The Northerners are saying that they are Arewa. They beat their chest. They say that they are Arewa. Then what should we call the Igbos? What name? What nomenclature? What identity? Should we call the Igbos? If not Biafra, or you better still say Igbo Nation. But what is wrong with Biafra? What is wrong? I repeat again if the Northerners are saying that I am an Arewa, they bring out, they come out in the Arewa Consultative Forum. What is Arewa? What is Arewa? Why are they not saying that they are Nigerians? Niger Northerners Consultative Forum. Odua People's Congress. Odua People's Congress. The other time, Southwest governors went and they started singing Odua National Anthem. They sang it in a sovereign country like Nigeria for those that are attacking the Biafra tradition because some people just came out and they started saying all sorts of things against Mazda, the Kanu, and the agitation. What should we call ourselves? The other time, somebody said, we should do away with Biafra and adopt Igbo Nation. Me, I'm concerned about the consciousness, the conservatism, the, the protecting our culture and heritage. That is what I'm concerned about. I might not like what Samanekwa is doing or some of the mistakes that Namdekan has done, but for God's sake, I'm an Igbo man. I need to protect myself from the woes and the the lion that has exalted themselves amongst us i want to say that nigeria is a mere geographical expression if you know what it means for someone so a tribalist like that to come out and say that nigeria is just a mere geographical that means he's saying that nigeria is a joke so in the midst of the fulani hausa that wants to take over our land, that wants to dominate and turn everybody to their slaves. In the midst of the Yoruba that are calling for conservatism, regionalism, what should the Igbos, what should they talk about? Because some people are saying that we should, uh, one Nigeria is better than what Samanekwa is doing and what Namdekanu has started and cost. They said that one Nigeria is better that the activities of Samanekwa is destroying a legal unknown government, BLA, what have you, ESN and everything, they are destroying a legal. The sit at home should not come at this point in time. We don't need a sit at home. That is the excuse that they are making. I might not like the approach of Samanekwa. I'm not in tune with most of what Samanekwa is doing. For me, it does not really uh, speak well of us. But me, I'm concerned about Igbo consciousness and conservat conservatism. Whatever that is going to bring the consciousness, make it alive. And 
egos come to their senses that they need to protect their culture and heritage i am in for it the southwest they are doing theirs the northerners are doing theirs what should the ego do at this point in time that's why i said that everybody should look at how they can start developing the region and call out those people that are being used by agents of the government to destabilize the star southeast from not being a place that is viable look at what alex ot is doing in abia state despite the fact that on the biafra day five soldiers were killed and they wanted to import a security in abia state but this guy used wisdom to carry on with his activities abia state is being shaped even though he's not perfect he's a human being he is a product of the system the corrupt system at least he has an intention to work for his people that is first focus that i'm looking at how we can talk about our heritage our history the essence of you people embracing who they are as egos because many people are losing it that's why you see careless talks here and there somebody is saying that Namde Kano is this is that you see careless talks now the Nigerian government that you are supporting that we have supported how is how has the Nigerian government treated you as an ego person that should be one of the questions what led to you being treated like that as an ego person because after the war it became mandatory for the other regions to put the Igbo man under their feet, which, God forbid, will happen in my lifetime. We are warriors, we stand on our feet, and we speak our mind. We are not afraid of death because death comes to everybody at a particular point in time. I will not be alive, and I will be marginalized by people that does not even have the capacity that I have. Have you gone to an office and you see a northerner who has just passed, pushing you up and down, telling you what to do, that does not have what it takes to run that office, but he, they are using you as a houseboy. To become a PA to a person that is clueless, look at what happened with Buhari and Osibajo. What qualifies Buhari as a local government chairman in an ideal setting, in an ideal society, compared to an Oshiba job that has proven when Buhari left for medical attention, I think for two or three months. Within that two or three months, look at how things changed with Oshiba job, Professor Oshiba job. Look at how things transformed. I cannot be, I cannot have this intelligence. I cannot have this education. I cannot have this insight. And I will see myself being subdued and subjugated, denigrated by somebody because of he believes that he's superior. He wants power. That he is a first class citizen while he's just a rat. I will not stand. I will not be alive and experience such. That's why I must fight for my identity, my conservatism. I must let my people also have that consciousness that we need to come together and form a quorum, a stand, and let everybody see who see us for who we really are. Not this one because somebody is. Um, the, the, the government is using media propaganda and so people are being inspired and paid to start attacking the good people, attacking the Biafra agitation. Namde Kanu is not the face of Biafra. Simon Ekpa is not the face of Biafra. Uwazri Keno Ojuku is the face of Biafra. The spirit of Biafra lives in every one of us. If these people are making mistakes, that is their business. That does not stop us from keep fighting on. If you are attacking these people, attack them personally. Don't attack the consciousness of Igbo people. If you are attacking Samanepa, attack Samanepa. 
if you're attacking Mazinam, they can attack Mazinam and come. Don't tell us that the Biafra agitation is a fraud because it is not centered around these people. We want to debunk that notion this time. You can't be sponsored by people to this credit a movement that is beyond human beings. The spirit of Biafra lives in every one of us. I told you the other time that people get angry when you tell them that I am a Biafra or I am IPUB. They get angry, they get triggered. But they would themselves call themselves Odudwa and nobody is triggered. I'm Arewa and they will be happy for them. They will do so, but you said I'm Biafra. They find there's something, they, 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 they get yeah, they get angered because you call yourself your identity. The more reasons why we need to work on an, on our identity as whoever that we are. We need to tell ourselves the stories that we need to tell ourselves. We need to tell ourselves, educate and liberate the mind of our children and the children that is going to come after our children. Let's put up a legacy for them to follow. Because what is the legacy that Igbo leaders have left for the unborn generation? We can achieve that with the Biafra. Very much we can achieve that. Whereby we'll come together, we'll talk to ourselves, and we we'll start building our society. But having a part or a party to somebody who is a chief, look at what is happening in River State. Just imagine that the president is a Fulani. And the governor in River State is evil. See how an air city minister is causing crisis and chaos in River State. Let's say the air city minister is from another tribe because it's possible. Look at how judgment is flying. Today, a judge gives this judgment. Tomorrow, that judge gives that judgment. Uh, the governor will not spend uh, allocation. This one will not happen. But if you have a country, that is indigenous to the Igbos, whether Igbo nation or Biafra, these kind of things will not happen. Imposing a hope who's or demon on the people. The last time I said that the leaders that we get from this system are leaders that we don't want in Igbo land, in the Southeast. The leaders that this system is producing for us are leaders that we as a people don't want. The system don't give you leaders you want. They give you leaders that will that will dance to their tune. The more reason why I'm against anything that will bring Nigeria together that would denigrate the woman. I'm against it. I have said it before. I've told people that the problems we are having today, even though we we separate, or there is an Arewa, there is a Odudua nation or a John nation, the same problem will persist. The real problem that Nigeria has today, it is the upper class and the lower class. That's the real problem. Let's not deceive ourselves. It is the upper class and the lower class. Look at what Alex Mascot Ikeji said to the poor man. He knows the Inspector General of Police. He can pay 50 million to delete his life. This is an upper class. Is a big man talking to a poor man. So, the issue I have is those big men and poor men, and the gap is being bridged. The rich getting richer, the poor getting poorer. In any society, go around the whole Nigeria. That is how it is. In Kogi State, the elites are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer. It is a battle between the poor and the rich. So, if you have Biafra, it is going to be the same. But the difference there is that tribalism will not stop us from carrying out a revolution that will change the status quo because now what these guys are doing they don't want you to come after them they don't want you to hold them responsible they don't want to pay for their crimes against the nigerian people so they bring in religion and tribe when they bring in religion and tribe you are divided you cannot exert any form of change when religion and tribe has come there, if they see that people are coming together, they remind you the civil war, 
how the Igbos did this, how the Yorubas did this, how our Lord did this. They know that Nigerians, the poor people are emotional and hungry. They will buy into anything. They can even sponsor people to carry out propaganda, like what some people are doing against Peter B. It is their daily routine, daily job to speak against the image of Peter B. To say evil about people so that they can change the perception of people. So these politicians, these tools they are going to use when it comes to Biafra, it will be difficult. Even though an Anambra man might say I'm different from an airboy man, you know we are all egos, and there will be competition. And that little competition, that little space, 10, 20 years that we have to build ourselves because of this and Oduduwa nation. Some of the senators or some of the leaders in Igbo land, which is Biafra, who want to do all they can to develop because of the competition. Look at MTN, look at uh, Etel, look at Globe. We used to have, whether it's MTN or Econet, or we used to have just one, Nitel. There was no development because they were not competing with any other person. When they brought in MTN, we started having per second billing. And the competition, different packages because they brought in competition. So if we have Biafra and there's Odudua, because after if Biafra goes, if Biafra goes, the Yorubas will never stay with the northerners for one second. They will not want to stay. They will start planning on their own exit. The generation want to just and everybody wants to scatter. So when everybody splits, when everybody splits, then the competitiveness. Me, I want to develop much more than religion, we make the leaders sit up. It might take up to 20, 30 years before they all will come and realize that I am different from you. The more reason why I'm supporting the ego conservatism, ego consciousness, whereby every woman has a stand, and that stand, one of them is to develop the southeastern region. So the youth have been developing Lagos State and the other other African countries, the West and the world. It is high time for you to, those basic amenities, you know that is good for society. Those basic skills, skill sets, these technological opportunities, setting up of industries, is not just enough to say, we are coupling this, we are coupling that, we are manufacturing this. Fabrication centers, let our children get into institutions that they will learn fabrication, they get knowledge, they get, they know their skills, they learn a lot so that they can give back to the Southeast and their society. How we build both human capacity, both, uh, you see, people do some innovations. How we can empower these people to give back to the Southeast, build the Southeast, connect the Southeast to opportunities, build the roads, build the drainages, lobby for investment power plants and all have you that's one of the things that we are calling for and it will only happen for ego consciousness and conservatism that is going to happen an ego man is a man that can succeed whenever he puts his heart to do what he wants to do he will succeed by fire by force so what me i'm doing is that i want to align the hearts of everybody if you are Yoruba, you also you need to understand that the template is going to apply. Look at what the Northerners are doing. Failed set of people. Eastern, see, what set of leaders we have in Nigeria? They are the Eastern politicians and the Northern politicians. Even the Northern politicians seems to be much more worse than the Eastern politicians because all those ones don't have any clue. They are blinded by religion. They are blinded by their system of government, which is feudalism. Whereby, imagine. You are against Tinubu's tax reforms. I like what what Tinubu is doing. Deal with them very well. Even though I don't support that kind of tax reform, but let it let at least it should be an eye opener for them. They have they, they are the ones that have destroyed this country. No game plan. No 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 vision. No nothing. No this. I don't understand. They are just there for what? not has a lot of resources to even feed the whole Nigeria, even Africa. 
you're not utilizing it, you're not playing ping pong with bandits that are destroying, killing farmers. You're not allowing, you're allowing external influence hmm, to destabilize the northern region. Like what is happening in the southeast? We have gas reserves that are there. Some people are allowing external influence to use them to cause problem in the southeast. Somebody said that December 2nd, they are going to declare Biafra. We are waiting. It's after that December 2nd, I will now come and talk my mind. Because we cannot all be stupid at the same time. We don't allow people to play on our intelligence. We don't allow southern inf and western influence to destroy the southeast. There's no other place we have except for the southeast. There's no other place we have. So those that are speaking against Namdi Kanu, and other agitators, those that are saying this one is a fraud, that one is a fraud, you keep on moving with that. But don't forget, if you're an ego man, you cannot throw away the baby with the bathwater. Ego conservatism and ego consciousness must be achieved. I don't see Samanaipa as the face of as in without Biafra, without them. What if they die today? What if Namikano dies or Samanaipa? Biafra still goes on. Nobody should attack the Biafra agitation and consciousness. You can face them personally. If you have anything personal with them, you can face them. But I know that if Biafra is going to come, God is going to use somebody. And that person is not perfect. That person shouldn't be stupid though. But that person is not perfect. May have made one mistake or the other on the way. The only thing that listening to wise counsel is much more profitable so if you are being recruited to speak against the ego consciousness because the next generation of young people are coming with a consciousness whereby deliberately we are going to carry out measures to build and rebuild the southeast of our choice we are going to carry out conscious efforts to rebuild the southeast of our choice. Look at how the southwest is developing itself. Calculate this and that and do this and that. My thoughts with the southwest is that when you talk about the southwest, Lagos, Lagos, six states, Lagos, 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 Ogo State. That's their business. Maybe that's how they want to run it. If you want to run a feudal system whereby after Tunubu the sun, after the sun, the grass on, that's how they want it. But as egos, we, we claim we, we, we are intelligent, we are smart, we have sense, we are wise people. Let us start showing, start sh to the show what kings. Start showing to everyone, in, everyone that you are wise or you are intelligent, you are hardworking. You can build your developers. Indian developers start showing workings. It's Christmas time will come now. Some people just carry car. You carry car. You now be zooming. Be zooming. Big boy. You are a very stupid person. Or you can take picture of your house. Ndigo Rego. Dingo Rego. Chief. Chief. Oh, she can. This one. Why your region is. Look at the internal generator. IGR, Ogo State is getting more revenue than those five southeast states, and you are coming doing like this. We have Igbo billionaires, stupid mentality, backward mentality. You are now on Facebook, lives a simple life. His net worth is bigger than you and your generation, but they are living simple life. You are coming here to brand. You are working, show workings on how you are developing your southeast, de developing human resources. Innovations. Bible told, God told Adam, I'm sending you an Eve. Replenish, dom dominate. Replenish the earth. Build the earth. That's the assignment for man, not you come, you drink pan wine, you drink goat meat, you wear this on Ishago, you do, you spray money. You rubbish set of people so as you can see this is the end of this uh
broadcast from Mazi uh, Christiano, a well-known activist and also the guy who is always on point telling us the way things are. But notwithstanding, you know, we are going to read the comment section to know what our people think concerning this matter. And according to Ugo, Ugochi uh, uh, Ugochi Anosike, said I would suggest Igbo people should uh, fully support uh, Simon Elba at this time. The alternative of living things the way they are is no option at all. If you think freedom fighting is easy, come up and lead one. I saw freedom fighting in South Africa. It was far worse than what is happening in Southeast now. It is Igbo people's lack of unity that is the problem we are facing today. Uh, Ihana Cho said uh, you are doing great and this is one of your best broadcasts that I have ever watched. John Obina said uh, what are the mistakes of Nam Kano and Simon Ekpa for asking for self-determination. My dear, everybody have right to their own opinion. Eh? He have made his own point and uh, it, is quite, it is well noted. At Helene Wafo said, uh, bam, we must lobby for seaport and international airport, my dear. We don't need that now. What we need is Biafra and all those things will come in full place. The VD Onye Meji said, this is the type of person we need. Man, you are good. Go ahead and say it loud. Thank you, bros. And according to uh, Ferdinando, who also said, we are Biafra people, period. We are Biafra people, period. Persons, uh, Ibo Jawaya said, uh, everyone is entitled to their opinion. It is not a crime to say he does not totally agree with Simon. Listen to him before you start judging because this is our problem. Simon is not perfect, but whatever he is doing, I hope he is doing for the interest of the Igbo man. Let's focus on our problem and find a way to save ourselves. God bless the Igbo in general. At Maria, uh, Gloria said, uh, regional one, Nigeria is better for me as an Igbo woman. Oh, Nigeria is better for you as an Igbo woman. Hmm. Chichi said, uh, what do you mean by Martin Nam Kano? These are some mistakes. So asking for freedom is a mistake, my dear. You people should listen to him very well before you castigate or before you, you, you nail him to the cross. Um, according to Anya, who said, God bless you, bro. Uh, Obina Opara said, uh, So tell us how can we protect our heritage and future moving forward? Oh, uh, Daniel Oswala said, uh, One Nigeria is not better, my brother. What are you people benefiting from Nigeria? What do you mean you don't like what Simon Ekpa is doing? How would you stop the atrocities of the Fulani against Nigerians? Anyway, my people now here, we go take a break. Like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. I'll be right back. Que me siano.